Beware, friends. Things are about to get spooky. We're going deep into the Chicago suburbs to experience what's possibly the only funeral home with a mini golf and game room. Yep, you heard that right. Welcome to the Algram Family Services Funeral Home. What started as a hidden neighborhood attraction has slowly gained popularity with mini golf enthusiasts. Let's hear from the owner himself, Roger Algram. Like, yes. What made you decide to do this? Um, well, we live right here. We have a residence attached, and I have three kids growing up, and it's just, and we love uh, shuffleboard, really started it, so I put the shuffleboard in first, and we love uh, miniature golf, so then I did the nine hole, you know, we only had room for nine. Yeah. This room was going to be for future chapels. So in the entrance over there, we already had it cut out so we could put a staircase going down and all that. Well, we built out in front instead. <laughs> we thought that's yeah, easier than coming down so, here. With these guys, we tried to come here, what, a few months ago? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, if you do plan to come here, if someone dies, you might have yeah. to get canceled. But always have a plan stuff. B, yeah. yeah. Always yeah. have a plan B. It is a funeral home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it was thought it was Alright, so today we're going to be playing some mini golf in a funeral home with the king of Weird and Wacky, Santos Chronicles, and also the Toll Road. I'm working on the third high score here. Yeah, yeah. Toll Road's working on the high score. And uh, while we're doing that, let me give you like a really small tour. Like I said, this is within a funeral home. First time for me. I've never played any kind of game inside of a funeral home, so this is going to be interesting. So there's nine holes here. And, you know, they have some arcade machines, which I think is really cool. But, yeah, like, and just in case you didn't believe us, there's a coffin right there. And I believe it was built by the owner of the funeral home. He, it started out as kind of like one hole, and I think it was something for the family, and then it just expanded. And look at, look what he did. It's very impressive. Look at that. They, they even got classic arcade machines. I haven't seen an arcade in like a long, well, no, I, I lied. We saw it in Spain, but uh, like a bunch of classic machines like this. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it. I've never played this. Is it Luna and Lander? I've, Lander. I've played Centipede, I've played Chocolate. Relaxing, Galaxy. I don't know what this is probably in Twin Cobra. Let's see it. Oh no. Whoa, that was nice. But I used to play it. Challenge, because me and Dave are gonna go one-on-one -on, -one on the mini golf, but we can't have a Santa's Chronicles episode without a Maria and a Bull versus Santa's Chronicles family. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Just remember that you guys took us out and yeah, so if you guys know uh, axe throwing. But you can do stuff like that. Oh, man. Take a picture of me out here. <laughs> uh, Maria was the ringer on that. Uh, for the cow milking. Cow milk. Oh, purple hand. Oh. 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 Yeah. Science, yeah, science and industry. Yeah, science and industry. Yeah. Science and industry. Yeah. Melissa took us out for the win on that. And now it's we're some tied. mini golf action. Yeah, we're tied. We're tied. We're tied. We're tied. I'm undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get your impressions on this. I don't know what to think about this. <laughs> it does have a death thing, so. I wouldn't say death. I'd say like macabre or, you know, it like spooky. It does have like a, a spooky theme, yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, that's really I nice. Play it. See if we can beat them. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can beat them. <laughs> 
Apparently we, we have a competition going. Yeah, you have a rivalry with uh, Melissa, Melissa Santos, yeah. yeah. I'm playing with Nico, so. Let's see. Nico! We want to give a big thanks to the Santos family for inviting us here and to Roger for his hospitality and for letting us record the experience. You can come play for free, although we encourage you make a donation so he can maintain this fun space. Just make sure to call in advance if you plan on coming. We'll leave the details down below. So we're on hole seven, and there's a cemetery here. So let's see. Let's see where Mar Maria's ball comes out. Wow. So you would say you're you suck or you're terrible? I'm pretty bad. I'm pretty terrible. <laughs> okay. As you can see. What's going on over here? I bragged about I having agree. a ping pong paddle yeah. and I got whooped on. <laughs> yeah. 37. 37. I don't know. What is happening? I lost. Clearly. I lost. I, clearly, I lost. <laughs> Just by. This is not for me. Just by a little bit. <laughs> Alright, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video because my arms are sore. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? it I did. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with uh, Santos and uh, Santos and the toll road. Yeah. You're still having fun back there. We're going to leave. There's still a lot happening here, guys. Yeah. We're going to leave the link down below so you guys can check them yeah, out. Yeah, the Santos Chronicles of the toll road um, and their socials. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.